This is Khalifa Muhammad Asif from ELNA College of Pharmacy at Kalpur. Today I am going to discuss about solubility of any solid in liquid. So aim of today's experiment is determination of solubility of benzoic acid in water at room temperature. So let's see the requirements of today's experiment. Chemicals are benzoic acid 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide phenolphthalene and distilled water. Different apparatus which are required to do this experiment are beaker, stirrer, conical flask, measuring cylinder, burette, pipette, etc. First, we will see about the definition of solubility in brief. So, solubility can be defined in two different ways. First one is quantitative way and second one is in a qualitative way. So in quantitative way solubility can be defined as it is the concentration of the solute in saturated solution at a certain temperature or we can define as the concentration of solute in solution when it is in equilibrium with the solid substance at a particular temperature. In qualitative way we can define solubility as it is the spontaneous interaction of two or more substances that are solute and solvent to form a homogeneous molecular dispersion. Let's see how solubility can be determined. There are two basic steps involved in determination of solubility of solid in liquid. These are step one is preparation of saturated solution and second step is analysis of that saturated solution. First we will discuss about step 1 preparation of saturated solution. So for preparation of any kind of saturated solution of solid in liquid we can choose one of these three different methods. The first method is known amount of solute can be added gradually. So if we know the concentration of solute that will produce saturated solution. So we can add that much amount gradually to the solvent. So it will give saturated solution. Second step is by increasing the solubility of excess solute by increasing the temperature followed by cooling and filtration. So in this method what we will do is we will add some excess amount of solid in solvent and we will go for heating and definitely it will increase the solubility of that solute and upon cooling followed by filtration we will get a saturated solution. Third method for preparation of saturated solution is addition of excess amount of solute at a specific temperature with continuous study followed by filtration. In this method what we can do is we can add excess amount of solute at specific temperature with continuous study and we have to kept it aside for longer period say for 24 hours after 24 hours we have to go through filtration and whatever filtrate we will get definitely this will be a saturated solution in second step we will analyze our saturated solution for that we can choose different methods different methods which can be utilized to determine the solubility of saturated solution these are first is evaporation method second method is volumetric method third method is gravimetric method and fourth one is instrumental method our today's experiment is based on volumetric method so I will discuss in brief what is volumetric method. So in this method the specific volume of saturated solution is titrated with a suitable solution using an indicator and the amount of solute present in solution is determined. So in this method solubility of acids and base can be determined. The basic principle involved in this method is we can calculate the amount of acidic substance present in specific volume of solvent 
by using titrometric analysis. In this experiment, our solute is benzoic acid and we can calculate the amount of benzoic acid by titrating it against 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide. We can observe the volume of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize the benzoic acid present in the solution and from that we can calculate the concentration of benzoic acid in our sample. This is all about theory of this experiment. Let's come to the procedure. Now I will explain you the procedure about today's experiment. For the procedure I will bring you to the actual lab and I will explain how the solubility can be determined in laboratory. Setup is ready. I will go for step 1 preparation of saturated solution. For that I will take some amount of benzoic acid and I will try to dissolve it in distilled water by continuous stirring. For getting a solution saturated I have to add excess amount of benzoic acid. By proper stirring, some amount of solute will dissolve in water. You can see some undissolved solid is clearly visible. And for complete solubilization of this solution, I have to go for heating. By increasing the temperature, we can increase the solubility of solid. As you can see, all the solute has been dissolved completely. And now we will go for the next step that is filtration. Remember one thing, before going for filtration, we have to cool our solution to room temperature because our aim is to determine solubility at room temperature. So I am preparing saturated solution by using second method which I have discussed in theory part. This filtrate is saturated solution of benzoic acid and you can see the excess of benzoic acid is separated out by filtration. For next step. We have saturated solution, still water, conical pass, measuring cylinder, pipette and phenolphthalein. So next step is to analyze the saturated solution by titration. For that 10 ml of distilled water has to be taken out and it has to be transferred in conical flask and 1 ml of saturated solution of benzoic acid has to be added in conical flask with the help of a pipette. Before going to the titration, 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator has to be added to conical flask. Now our mixture is ready for the titration. Here I have a burette filled with a titrant that is 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide and end point of this titration will be colorless to faint pink. Here my bureau reading is 3.2 ml. In this way we have to take 3 readings and we will use average of these 3 readings for calculation. So let's see about observation table. So you can see here our solution is benzoic acid in water and the readings are 3.2, 2.4 and 2.8 and the average reading is 2.8. Now we will use this value of reading for the calculation purpose. 
and we can calculate the solubility. Let's come to the calculation part. For calculation, we will use basic formula of acid-base titration to calculate the normality of our sample. And from the normality, we can calculate the solubility of our sample. So here is the formula N1V1 is equal to N2V2. Here N1 is the normality of benzoic acid which we have to calculate. V1 is the volume of benzoic acid. N2 is normality of titan that is sodium hydroxide. And V2 is the volume of uh, titan which is required to neutralize our sample or we can say buret ready. Let's substitute the values in this equation. So value of v, V1 will be 11 ml, 1 ml of saturated solution and 10 ml of distilled water. So it will become 11 ml. Normality of sodium hydroxide was 0 0.1 and value of V2 will be 2.8. It comes from observation table and this will give the answer of 0.0245 normal after calculation of normality we can calculate the amount of benzoic acid present in our sample we can calculate the amount of benzoic acid present in our sample in this way that is 0.0254 multiplied by gram equivalent weight of benzoic acid present in 1000 ml and it will be like this 0 0.0254 multiplied by 122.22 divided by 1000 and it will give the answer of 0 0.00311 gram per ml and this is the solubility of our solute benzoic acid. This is how we can calculate the solubility of benzoic acid in water by using volumetric analysis or we can say titrimetric analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.